In this tutorial, we're going to take a closer look at what Panel Tour can offer in terms of building parameters. To start, we'll discover a project with various content in order to observe the way Panel Tour organizes it when building the tour. Now, look at the Tour Building section located in the project's properties. Those settings are independent from your selection in the main window. Let's see the way Panotour organizes the rendered files. To do this, leave the parameters set by default. We are going to build the tour by clicking on the blue gear wheel, we shall call it test. Notice that Panotour has created a flash file, test.swf, and a folder, test data. Let's see the content of this folder. In the graphic folder, you will find all the objects, appearances, hotspots, links used in your project. And the test 0, 1, and 2 folders regroup the panorama's data. You can also find the pictures preview. The test.swf file is the visit itself. It will call upon the data in test data and therefore allow, when publishing on the web, a download of the content that is currently needed. Let's come back to the export properties. The HTML template allows you to create an HTML file already written down, including your visit. The Pictures Export menu is, by default, in automatic mode. Therefore, it will decide whether or not to export a picture for you to gain time in the export process. You can also make Panature export them anyways or never do so. If the embed or data box is checked, the file test data won't be created. All the data will be included in test.swf. There will therefore be more weight and the user wishing to visit will have to wait for a complete download of the visit to do anything else. 